Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're telling about the life of Gop Kumar, a cowherd boy from Govardhan, who travels into the spiritual world. And in this, he went to Vaikuntha, and from Vaikuntha he went on to Dwarka, and in Dwarka Narada Muni came and met him. And then they also met with Uddhava, and Uddhava took them to his home. And in the, in the home of Uddhava, Narada Muni was telling Gopkumar about a place beyond Dwarka, beyond Vaikuntha, where the Lord has very special pastimes. And Narada Muni was telling Gopkumar that there's very special qualifications to go there and you have to develop prema, you have to develop deep love for the Lord to enter there. And Narada Muni said, one way in which you can develop this prema is by doing, by chanting the holy names of the Lord, especially singing different songs about the pastimes of the Lord. So he said, the best way to develop this kind of love for Krishna is to be in the company of other devotees who also have this love, who have this love for Krishna. And when you develop that love, you have to be very careful that you don't show it to other people, you keep it hidden. Just like there's a saying that if your mother has a secret lover, you don't tell people about this. You keep it hidden. You don't want to tell everyone your mother has another man. Harry Bo? Uh, uh, if one's mother has a secret lover, Harry Bo, Harry you don't? Krishna. Yes. Guru Mani. If, if one's mother has yet married, there is a delay of the tongue. Uh, I only hear that if one's mother has a secret lover that... Uh, you don't tell it to other people. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, can you hear me, Guru Mani? We said, you, you don't tell people, you don't let it known, you don't make it public to people that your mother's having a love affair with another man, different from your father. And in the same way, if you have developed 
very deep love for Krishna, you don't want to show it, you don't want to tell people about it. You don't want to try to get a big name as a big devotee or an advanced devotee, that's very bad. Hare Krishna, you can hear again? Yes, we develop. If we, we don't want to get. So the, the, the point is that if somebody develops this prema, Krishna prema, they, they, they don't let other people know. But the nature of prema is if, if one has developed it, it's very hard to keep it secret. So, if one lives in Krishna's, in, if one lives in the holy place like Vrindavan, then it's very easy to develop this kind of love. Hare Krishna Sari. Good day, Haribo, can we can we continue? Need a singing Hai Tuanla. Hare Krishna. 
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Sati is not here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're saying if you live in the holy land, you live in the holy land like Vrindavan then very quickly you can develop this kind of prem, love. But this the path this path of devotion is very different from the other paths, you know, things like yoga or karma or jnana, it's a very different path. And the the root, the, the most the, the very root of bhakti is humility, very deep hum, genuine humility. So the point is that we have to understand when we take up bhakti, you don't have to keep doing things like the different duties of the Varnashram. That's part of the, the karma, that's the main duty and when you follow the karma path. And we don't have to cultivate the knowledge to understand the distinction between what is spirit and what is matter, which is all what jnana is about. And then you have other things like Astanga Yoga and meditation and try to get Samadhi. You don't have to worry about these. So the point is, in the very beginning, in the very beginning when we first take up Bhakti Yoga, these things may be useful. But once we come to this stage of Raganuga Bhakti, where you've developed spontaneous devotion, you don't have to do these things. And if one has actually developed prema, real love for Krishna, then he has no interest in these things. So you cannot, you cannot develop prema just by doing karma yoga or jnana yoga or any other yoga. They just, we just have to focus on hearing and chanting and remembering Krishna. Some, some great authorities, big, uh, the, 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 the acharyas, they say that service to Krishna The 
people who are doing service to Krishna, they, they don't bother about doing different rituals. And they don't have to chant secret mantras in their mind. And they keep away from people who are sitting doing meditation yoga. So that's the nature of bhakti, that people who are really in doing bhakti, absorbed in bhakti, they don't have any contact with these things. Some people, they may be doing the bhakti internally, with the subtle body, with the mind. And other, pe other people, they're using the physical body and the senses, they're, they're doing ex the externally, they're performing bhakti. So if, if somebody becomes more interested in karma and jnana and yoga, then it will take him away from bhakti. So one has to take, one has to cultivate this very deep humility. So this humility means to always think oneself unqualified and low. It, it doesn't mean that the, the meaning of being humble doesn't mean that we're poor. It doesn't mean that we, we have to depend on taking charity from others. And, and it doesn't mean just that we have no ego. Some, somebody, some people who are very lazy, they may also think themselves very humble. And some people are doing sinful activities and they say, yeah, I'm very fallen and they're doing sinful activities. So the real meaning of humility means that one has all good qualities. Right. He, he, he's given up false ego. And he doesn't, he's very careful not to get involved in material life. But Narada Muni doesn't say that being humble means that you have to have tears in your eyes and show other ecstasy. But it, it can lead to that. Mm, 
So the person who is on this path to develop prema, they have to develop this humility by the proper behavior. And they have to they have to also speak uh, in a certain way and they have to control their mind to think in certain ways to cultivate this humility when one has actually developed real love for Krishna then he will naturally become very humble. Just like the ladies in Gokula, when they were separated from Krishna, they became very humble. So there's one type of humility, ordinary humility, you can develop just by our own effort. But there's another kind of humility, which is not ordinary, which comes from Krishna's special mercy. Yeah, you know, everybody in the material world, nearly everyone in the material world is separated from Krishna, but they're not experiencing this ecstasy because they don't have prema, they don't have love. So we have to develop that love for Krishna, just like the gopis have love for Krishna. Just, just like when Krishna left them, when he left them, like when he went to Mathura, then, then that feeling, their feeling of love, the separation from Krishna, then it awoke in them different ecstasies. So this is the special mercy of Krishna which he gives to his pure devotees. So the more we develop our love for Krishna, the more we will become humble. No. So, so humility is the cause of prema, and, and prema is the cause of humility. <laughs> they're, they're intimately connected. So prema is the goal and humility is not different, it's not different from love of Krishna. So it's wrong to think that there's a uh, always another level, there's always a higher level to go. It's wrong to think that, there's, that we can never reach the goal.
并不是说我们永远达不到那个目标。No, the goal is there, but we should understand there's many different varieties in love of Krishna. So, by pure love of Krishna, then we be, we, we're able to go to Goloka, and then Goloka we can actually see the Supreme Lord Krishna. And so, but then when we see him, then he will also, we may also feel separation when he leaves us. We will feel the separation. So this is, this is the variety of which is experienced by the pure devotees. And this kind of ecstasy which the devotee feels, sometimes in meeting Krishna and in being separated from Krishna, this is so much greater than any happiness you get from liberation. So people who know about love of God, who know about prema, they can recognize it when they see the devotee, when they see the devotee's heart trembling, when they see the devotee trembling and other kinds of ecstasies in the body. So, Narada, Narada, uh, he has understood that this love of Krishna, this prema, can be recognized by these different features. We can't, he said, we cannot really describe it in words, but we see features, we see, we see things like uh, trembling and tears coming from the eyes and the hair standing on end. So it is said when the devotee is developing this love of Krishna, then their heart will become very soft. But of course we cannot tell, we cannot see if a devotee's heart is actually becoming soft. So those people who have got this kind of prema, this love, very deep love, it, it, it's like the neck, neck, it's like very nectarian water of the Yamuna. But at, at the same time, it's also like the burning flames of a fire. So to these devotees who've got this love, 
Poison is like nectar, and nectar is like poison. And, and death is happiness, but life is means more misery. And so this is the, the nature of this when one gets Krishna Prema. The, the, what seems like pleasure is like pain to them. Something which we make, which we would think should be very auspicious and good for us, they will reject it because it may remind them about Krishna, remind them about their love for Krishna. And they're trying to forget Krishna, but they can't. So something which helps us to forget Krishna, they will think, oh, this is very good. So it's the nature of prema, love of God, that there's there's ecstasy and there's so much pain. So when one comes to this stage, he cannot distinguish between what which one is ecstasy and which one is misery. Just like in Srimad Bhagavatam, the example was given, you know, Krishna, Krishna's queens, they had been enjoying with Krishna, they'd been having water sports, you know, in the very heat of the summer, they'd have water sports and splash water on each other. So these queens, they were, they were with Krishna, but at the same time they were lamenting separation from Krishna. Although he was with them, they were lamenting that he's left us. So it's the nature of bhakti that all these different emotions are brought out in the devotee. Something which seems like to be very cold, like ice, may become very hot, like fire. So somebody who's really developed this prem to a high level, they will experience the company, having the company of Krishna. And they will join with Krishna in his pastimes. But while they're enjoying with Krishna, there will also come the pain of separation. So 
So it's just like when, just like hunger is an imp is a part of eating. To enjoy eating, there has to be hunger. The more there is hunger, the more you can enjoy eating. So the same way, the more one develops his love for Krishna, he will feel also the, the separation, the ecstasy of separation from Krishna. But this happiness of separation, this pain of the the pain or separation of Krishna, this is a very, very special thing, it's very rare. We're going to hear about this more in this Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. And sometimes when people develop this love for Krishna, they behave, they become like a mad person. And without having this prema, that even the nine kinds of devotional service cannot bring us real happiness. Right, we're all doing devotional service and the purpose of devotional service is to come to this stage of prem. Oh, only by this prema can we actually become really happy. So chanting of the holy name brings us to this stage. This is very help, very important for us to develop Krishna prem. We should become attached to a particular name and a big particular form of Krishna. And then as our heart begins to melt with love of Krishna, then we will laugh loudly and we may even shout and cry. And sometimes the devotee will also sing and dance like a mad person. He doesn't care what other people think about him. So Narada Muni gives an example. He said, without having love of God, the nine kinds of devotional service are just like having some vegetables without salt. Or somebody may cook a big meal for you, but you're not hungry. Or you may study the scriptures, but you don't understand anything. Or a beautiful garden with many nice trees, but no fruit. So these are all like having 
doing bhakti but not having prema. So Narada Muni said, I'm just telling you general things about this. I'm not telling you in detail. I can't describe it all in detail. Yeah, you want to understand the real nature of Krishna Prima, you have to look at the devotees of Krishna, like the servants in Vrindavan, like the gopis. Yeah, you can see some devotees or some people are very devoted to different avatars of Krishna. Or some people in like in Vaikuntha, Narada Muni Gopkumar had come to Vai he went to Vaikuntha, so he saw some of the servants there, how they had deep love for Krishna. But these people in Vrindavan, like this Srimati Radharani and the gopis and the love which they have is so special that Narada Muni doesn't feel able to speak about it. Just like when Krishna went to Mathura, he left Vrindavan. So all the cowherd women, they were so affected. They were in the fire of, they were like burning in the fire. They, they, they just couldn't tolerate the separation from Krishna. So this was because they had so much love for Krishna. So Narada Muni tells Gop Kumar, he says, I don't think you should go into this any further. I don't think you should try to go understand this anymore. Because if he goes further, he's, he worries that maybe he and Gop Kumar will lose control and they'll become so ecstatic they'll just lose control of themselves. But Narada Muni tells Gop Kumar, he said, if you ever if you're ever able to meet Srimati Radharani, then you will see praying and you will see how special her love for Krishna is. And she is the person who can really tell you about Prima. Because she she experiences she experiences it, she is able to understand it. But Narada Muni knows Gop Kumar's heart is not yet ready. He's not yet fully prepared to hear and understand all this. But 
But if Gop Kumar could meet people like the gopis or Srimati Radharani, then he would be able to understand it better. But Narada Muni said, even if he was to get, if he was to meet Radharani, he would not be able to repeat her instructions to Gop Kumar. You have to get it directly. Because if Narada Muni would try to give these instructions, he would just become so ecstatic, so mad, he wouldn't be able to control himself. So Gop Kumar has to learn about this from Srimati Radharani herself. But then Narada Muni says another way, he said, if there's an incarnation of Lord Krishna who comes to distribute Krishna Prem, then you may be able to understand from him. Or one of Krishna's, Krishna may come himself to experience the Krishna Prem of Srimati Radharani. Then you could meet him and also get great benefit, learn from him. So the point is, oh, go ahead. Okay, so Radharani, it, 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 <laughs> Radharani is very rare to see in this world. It's not, Gop Kumar knows it. It may not be possible for him to ever meet Radharani. difficult to meet, to get her favour, to understand her, her greatness, well, very, that's very rare. So Narada Muni says there's this other way that you can meet the, some the Lord may come himself in the future, just like he came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He's a, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to experience this love of Radharani. So Narada Muni, he's, he knows the future. He knows that the Lord may come in the future to experience this mood of Radharani. So he tells Gop Kumar, if you can meet this person, then you can get everything. So, Narada Muni tells Gop Kumar, he says, Go quickly to Lord Jagannath's abode, go to Jagannath Puri, and, and there you can fulfill all your desires. Narada Muni says, Go quickly to Lord Jagannath's abode, go to Jagannath Puri, and there you 
请你告诉古巴库尔，快去扎巴纳的普瑞，你在那里就能满足你的一切心愿了。Because that Jagannath Puri is just like an image of Mathura. And, and Narada Muni says, "You're better than me. Krishna has given you real good mercy, so you're more qualified than me." Narada Muni may not be able to develop this prema, but Gop Kumar could could do it because Gop Kumar was born in Vrindavan. And he got so much of Krishna's mercy, so he's much more fortunate than Narada Muni. Hari Bal. Oh. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. Nihui Laila. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. Guru Mani. Ting Da Wa Ma. <笑>那怎么办再断挂掉吗 We chat, huh? Yeah, yeah, yes. Your phone now is now okay, right? Today, I don't know what's going on. All right. So, Gop Narada Muni told Gop Kumar he should go to Jagannath Puri and see the Lord there. Narada Muni told Gop Kumar to go to Jagannath Puri and see the Lord there. But Uddhava, Uddhava says, Uddhava is also there because they're in Uddhava's house. So Uddhava says to them, he says, well, you know, Dwarka is also as dear. Dwarka is just as good as Jagannath Puri. Krishna also performed pastimes in Dwarka, so it's also a very important place. So Uddhava, he didn't really agree with Narada telling Gop Kumar to go to Jagannath Puri. Uddhava is from Dwarka, and he's a devotee of Dwarka, and he thinks, you know, you get everything here in Dwarka. You don't need to go to Jagannath Puri. Actually, and the Lord here in Dwarka, he is the same as Lord Jagannath. There's no difference. The, the Lord of Dwarka, he is the son of Devaki. 
And he is also, he is not different from Lord Jagannath. When Lord Jagannath, he is in wood and he never moves. Mm. So, why does, why does the Lord appear like that in Jagannath Puri? He, 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 he does this just to give pleasure to the people there in Jagannath Puri, that they like that form. Mm. There's no difference between the Lord there and the Lord, the Lord in Puri and the Lord in Dwarka. But the, when you hear about Krishna's pastimes in Vrindavan, then you will feel the, a certain pain, you'll feel that sorrow, you'll feel the pain. So, he says, that you don't need to go all the way to Puri, and if you do go to Puri, there's one disadvantage. Because in Puri, they, will, they do the dramas about Krishna's pastimes. And when you hear these pastimes, then you'll feel pain in your heart. Because in Jagannath Puri, you won't be able to see the Lord of Vrindavan. You won't be able to see him, and that will give you great pain in your heart. But of course, if you go to Puri, it said you, you will also, you'll get a lot of his Maha Prasadam, you'll get Lord Jagannath's Prasadam, and you'll see Lord Jagannath's lotus feet. And you'll feel, you can join also in the festivals, and the Rathiatra, the processions, so you'll feel pleasure in that. But you won't feel the humility, you won't develop the humility of the, the pure love of Krishna. So he won't get the Krishna Prem, he won't get that happiness of Krishna Prem, he won't get Goloka, the mood of Goloka. Okay, so we will stop here. We will take the questions now. Why did Krishna arrange the battle of Kurukshetra? Because the world was overburdened with many demoniac kings and they were giving pain to Mother Bhumi. So Krishna brought them all there in the battle so that they could all be rem removed. Because in this world, there were many 
，就给波米母亲带来很大的，呃，很很很大了的烦，呃，痛苦。所以主奎斯呢，就把他们都集结在所有这个这个战场上，让他们去战斗，去去除他们。Right, you can read about that. You read the Krishna book. You read the Krishna book, the first chapter, the introduction. You can read all about why Krishna came, and the, how Krishna arranged the battle of Kurukshetra just to remove all these kings. And all the people who died in Krishna's presence, they all got liberation. So there's no loss. Everybody benefited. Everyone benefited. 圣人跟半圣人。圣人，嗯 ，all all those sages and demigods they have a a good quality. So what are what are these good qualities? Well, they're devotees. They're obedient to the orders of the Lord. They follow scriptures. These are very important qualities. And the demigods, their people, they've got that position because they've acted piously in many lifetimes. They've come to that position of demigods by doing pious activities in the material world. And sages, they are people on the path of self-realization. They have no material desires. Well, we, they're not always madmen, but sometimes they will feel ecstasy in their body. So they will not show it to other people. Just like sometimes Prabhupada would feel ecstasy, then he would get up and he would go to his room to be on his own. We said, when somebody feels ecstasy, they hide it. They don't want to show it to people. So Prabhupada, Narada Muni, they don't show it to people, but they feel ecstasy. Okay, 下一个问题。下一个叶倩顶拜咕噜和所有奉献者，如何
知道自己对 Krishna 的哪个特别名字和形象做特殊的崇拜。How can I know, uh, which, uh, which name and form of Krishna is special for me, is certain for me, so well, that I can, you know, yeah. worship? You you have to be patient. You're still a new devotee. You have to chant the holy name under the orders of the spiritual master, and gradually you will develop a, an attraction for a particular form of the Lord. In, your, in our neophyte stage, we simply chant Hare Krishna mantra and we hear about Krishna and we, we're still very new devotees, so you haven't developed an attraction for any particular form, so you have to hear more and we go on and do devotional service. And gradually, gradually, you develop more attraction for one particular form. Why don't they just drink water? Their mouth is very dry, let them drink something. process is to chant the holy name. Meditation. You may think of the Lord playing the flute. You may look at a picture of Krishna playing the flute. But our process is to chant the holy name. We don't encourage people just to do silent meditation. Give up false ego because our false ego 
is very strong, so we think we're very important and very great, but we should think of ourselves as being unqualified. Right, you know, we, we have this, people think, uh, I'm zi gao zi da, right? I'm very big, I'm very uh, great. Uh, so, this is the false ego. We have to understand our spiritual position. Our ego should be in proportion to the dimension of the soul. So, just like we have songs which we sing, where the devotee who wrote the song, he says that, you know, he says that I am, I'm very fallen, but you have come to deliver the fallen souls. So, I'm the most fallen, so please, please come and deliver me first. Lord Chaitanya is known as Patita Pavana. He came to deliver the fallen souls. So if we are fallen, then Lord Chaitanya may come and deliver us. It's a good opportunity to get the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. But if we think I'm not fallen, then very hard to get the mercy. So we are encouraged to cultivate this humble mood that I'm unqualified, I'm unworthy, I'm low, I'm fallen. Okay. Is that only by cultivating love, mm, our humbleness, when we will naturally possess the quality of humbleness, or else our so-called humble is false, right? Well, it's not false, but it's material humility. If we, we ourselves cultivate the humility by our own efforts, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not the same as developing the kind of humility which we're speaking about, which is a special humility cultivated through the mercy of Krishna. So both kinds of humility are good. Of course, that, the, the mercy of Krishna is a very special humility. We may not get, but we should cultivate ordinary humility in the material world. Okay, now uh, I was just saying that uh, in the material world it's important for us also to be humble in ordinary dealings. Mm. 
像谦谦卑也是非常重要的。下一个问题。下一个问题，李林恩，顶拜姑姑，顶拜老师们。七岁多的孩子每天读《快乐的全员》，每天看有关 Krishna 的动画片，这样可以培养孩子 Krishna 嗯 Krishna 的知觉吗？嗯、um, ，My my child who is seven years old， 嗯、um, ，he or she read the Krishna 的。The happiness, the source of happiness, and and watch the cartoon of Krishna.、Uh, is in this way can my child cultivate Krishna consciousness? Well, certainly it helps, but you know you should also give your child nice vegetarian food stuff and try to encourage your child to eat vegetarian. And you should also have kirtan. There should be the chanting of the holy name. She should also learn to sing Hare Krishna mantra. Your child should see should see that you are also a devotee and that you chant the holy name. And you should also discuss the past. You should talk to your child about the past times of Krishna. Okay. 下一个，雨飞，顶拜咕噜，感谢感谢您。奉献者有一些捷径标准，遵循这些标准对爱 Krishna 有帮助吗 ？There are some standards for cleanliness for devotee. If we follow this standard, is it helpful for us to love Krishna? Yes, it's important. Cleanliness, cleanliness. We we have a saying in English. We say cleanliness is next to godliness. So cleanliness is very important quality. It will help us to become more Krishna conscious. 是的，嗯，清洁是很重要的。但是一项品质，在英文当中有有有一句谚语叫“清洁”。与神圣为邻，就是清洁是圣。We have to clean the heart, right? So internal cleanliness and external cleanliness. 所以清洁是培养 Krishna 之间一项重要的品质。嗯，清洁有内在的清洁和外在的清洁。我们需要清洁内心，我们还需要。Prabhupada was always very concerned that we keep the temples very neat and clean. They should look very, very、uh, perfect. Everything should be cleaned every day. Can you explain? Um, you mentioned that、uh, if we can use our subtle body to worship and serve Lord. Yes, within our mind, we may, we may not have any material facilities for worshiping the Lord. So within our mind, we may worship the Lord. 是的，用我们的心意，我们可能没有物质的条便利设施来崇拜主，但是用心在心意里。You may not, you may not have any, any nice flowers there. So within our mind, we can meditate on collecting beautiful lotus flowers and the most fragrant roses and 
making them into a beautiful flower garland and offering that flower garland in our mind to Krishna. And within our mind we can offer prayers to Krishna. And we can remember Krishna's pastimes and different teachings of Krishna from Bhagavad Gita. Well, we shouldn't use this as an excuse to avoid doing service. But if we're in the position where you're not able to do anything, within our mind we can do everything. But you have to have a very controlled mind. Now Srila Prabhupada told us he didn't want us to chant in the mind. He said this is not the way. He said all the, 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 devote, the, the good devotees, they will chant the holy name out loud. Haridas Thakur, Kolaveka Sridhar, these people, they would all chant the holy name loudly. And we are hearing, we were hearing today, devotees in, who have prema, they chant loudly, they chant out loud. Of course, you may be in a situation sometimes, you're not able to do these things, so within your mind you may try, but you have to be very careful to control the mind. It's not easy to steady the mind. Yeah, we, we know in the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 6, when Krishna was telling Arjuna how to do yoga, Arjuna said, I can't do it, my mind is like the wind, I cannot control the mind. So Arjuna couldn't do it. We should, you know, I don't know how effective we are going to be in trying to do it. It's not easy to fix the mind. We know when we chant Gayatri, how much the mind wanders. When we chant Hare Krishna mantra, the mind wanders. So, you're going to do service in the mind, you have to really control the mind. You have to, it's not easy. We know when we chant Gayatri, 
Shri Mantra 或者是唱诵 Hare Krishna Mantra 的时候，我们心意是怎么到处的游荡的？所以这个，嗯，如果在心意做服务的话，这个要控制心意不容易。再见。Well, that is. Oh, go ahead, translate. If you read the Bhagavad Gita, this, you know Arjuna asked the question to Krishna, "What, what, what is the nature of one who has achieved transcendence? How does he speak, and what is his language? How does he sit, and how does he walk?" Right, this question is asked in the second chapter. So you read this, you read the Bhagavad Gita, and you get the answers to this. How does a Brahmana speak? He will speak about Krishna. If he's a real Brahmana, Brahmana Vaishnava, he will speak about Krishna, and he will chant the holy name. 如果是真正的布拉姆纳他就会讲过讲述克里斯纳他就会嗯唱诵克里斯纳的圣名他的每一个活动都会献给克里斯纳之爵 But he acts on for the service of Krishna. Yes, Brahma has a wife. Brahma His wife is Saraswati. Saraswati. Then he had another wife, a second wife, Gayatri. Right? He was doing they were doing a yagya one time and the wife was late, so they were waiting for her to come. But she did not come in time for the yagya, and she had to be there at a certain time. She did not come. She was late. So they told Brahma, take a second wife. So he took this other girl. Her name was Gayatri. So when the first wife came, then she saw he'd taken another wife, she was angry and she cursed him. She cursed him that he would only be worshipped in one place. Right. And what's the question about Shiva? Who is the mother of Shiva? Well, Shiva is born from... <laughs> he's born from 
one, one Shiva comes from the forehead of Lord Brahma when he's angry. And another Shiva comes from Lord Sankashan. But Lord Shiva is not an ordinary living entity. He doesn't have the mother. We never hear about him having a mother. Shagavanti. This new fighty has practiced Christian consciousness for more than one year. He felt disinterested, uninterested in everything except the honor and delicious prasad. Even if his or her mother is ill, uh, this devotee is not worried. And he ha ha has, uh, has nothing to say with his former friends. He felt everything is mm, tasteless. So he wondered if this is normal. Uh, yeah, well, in some ways it's normal. We say like becoming a devotee of Krishna you get new friends. You lose your old friends and you get new friends. And just like when you get married, you get new friends. You know, before you are a single man, you, you know, you have your single man friends, but after you get married, you have your wife, and so you, you have different friends. <laughs> so, I guess it's normal. But we should try to, you know, if you have some responsibility, if you have a mother, you take, you're living with her, you should take care of her. You have to do your duties. Don't be irresponsible. A devotee is not irresponsible. That's not good. Okay, Shai Gawanti. Yes, all, all these reasons. We can say it was the cause of Drupadi because they were disrespectful. We can say it's also Krishna's arrangement, everything is Krishna's arrangement. And we can say it's because of the sons as well. These are all valid reasons. Mm, 
还有是 Krishna 的安排，嗯，也可以说是，嗯，他的一百个儿子所导致的，所以这些原因都是实实在在的原因。下一个问题。<laughs> Translate. Isn't that? Um.、Uh, continue with the question about the chanting. Why chanting is my mouth is dry? Isn't that?、Uh, while chanting the holy name, there should be nectar. But how is it? How can it be dry mouth? My, my mouth is not dry. Well, the nectar is there in the sound and the sound vibration. It's not that some nectar magic liquid is going to come in your mouth, but the nectar is there in the sound vibration. You have to taste the nectar with your ears, not with your tongue. So the devotees are not cheating you. And I don't think you have very heavy karma. I think you just have to keep chanting and taste the nectar. But remember that nectar is tasted with the ears. Of course, there's also nectar in in the chanting. We use our tongue to chant. There's also there's also nectar there. 嗯、but still, your mouth becomes dry. It doesn't mean there's no nectar there. There's still nectar there. Well, it depends. You have to be careful about what you tell other people. You, if you're simply telling them about something to try to be recognized as a big devotee, then this is not very good. 别人是为了让别人认出您是一个大奉献者，那这是就是犯的错误。We don't want to get fame. We want to avoid fame. 我们不想要名誉，我们要避免这个名誉，声望。So Krishna may reveal something to you, so that's good for you. You don't have to tell everyone about it. 
It's just between you and Krishna. <laughs> Those who have attained the pure spontaneous devotional service, they don't have to follow regular regulative principles um, mindfulness. Uh, so what 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 kind of uh, situation is that? So what 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 it is it like? Well, the point is that somebody who is very advanced in devotional service, who have come to this platform where they're spontaneous, they have natural attraction for service to Krishna. They don't have to follow some things which are just rituals. Right. They don't have to do things like follow the Varnashram. Mm -hmm. They don't have to worship the forefathers and the ancestors. Mm -hmm. They've already gone beyond all that. Those things are good for people in the beginning, but not when people become more advanced in Krishna consciousness. But they will still strictly follow the, what we would call the regulative principles like meat, fish and eggs, intoxication, gambling, illicit sex. They won't do that. But they won't engage, they won't do the just rituals, the, these kind of things which have, have, no, have no importance in bhakti. Yeah, they don't, they don't bother to do yoga, they don't bother to do meditation, they don't bother to ch chant prayers in the mind. But they will chant, they can, they can chant, they can chant the glories of the Lord. They will sing the songs about the pastimes of Krishna. It, take, it will take time, you have to be patient, you have to keep trying. 
We know you're not very young, you're an older lady, so it takes a longer time to teach the older person something new. But it's good, you keep trying. It's good, you're seeing your own faults and you're trying to do something about it. That's a very good sign. Because Krishna is beautiful and has a lot, a lot of wisdom that we constantly we think about him and we love Krishna. Is this material lust or spiritual love? Well, it will depend on our own consciousness. Are we loving Krishna spiritually or materially? Just like the gopis, they have pure love for Krishna. And Kubja, there was a lady called Kubja, she had, she had also love for Krishna, but her love for Krishna was more, more of a lust. Kubja, she was a hunchback lady and she met Krishna and she gave all her sandalwood to Krishna. So she was very attracted to Krishna, but her attraction to Krishna was lust. It wasn't like the gopis, pure love. So try to follow the mood of the gopis. Remembering Krishna's pastimes and Krishna's teachings. The pure devotee, when they attain the bhakti prema, they don't show it to others. Is that because of humbleness? Or, if, or are there any other reason? They don't show it to others because they don't want fame because fame is very, very polluting to the heart. It's very contaminating. It's a disturbance to devotional service. Mm. 
If you're known as a great devotee, then people will come to you for blessings and they will respect you and they will honour you and it's a big disturbance to devotional service. Devotee, a pure devotee, he just wants to concentrate on his chanting and his worship of Krishna. He doesn't want to be bothered by people who are coming to him all the time for blessings and different disturbances. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not clear about what you're practicing or how you're practicing. We practice chanting Hare Krishna and doing devotional service, beginning with hearing and chanting. We read the scriptures. I don't know what practicing you're doing. Shai Gawanti. The first part of the question is that Gopal Kumar, although born in Vandavan, a cowherd boy, but he is searching Vandavan. Is it right? I cannot understand. He's born in Vrindavan and he used the mantra to go to the spiritual world. He went to Vaikuntha. And so he met Narada Muni and Uddhava and then he heard about Goloka. And he heard Goloka and Gokula, Gokula is Vrindavan on earth, where he came from, they're not different. So by hearing about this from Narada Muni, Gop Kumar is able to develop greater appreciation for the place from which he comes. Is that clearer? Okay, Shai Gwanti. There are mood of Dwarka 
Yes, that's right. Dwarka is more opulent and Vrindavan is more simple, more sweet. Shaigavanti. Because in Jagannath Puri, the Lord is there, and the same Lord is there in Dwarka. Both places they're worshipping, the Lord is worshipped, he's surrounded by his devotees. So the mood of Dwarka is similar to the mood in Jagannath Puri. Shagavanti. Mayo Wenti. Mayo. No, okay. Sati, Mamma Jinti and Dowja. How? She she can she Guru Mani give on and funny, can she sati to can she can she saw the functions and LinkedIn, Jufun Niman, Chang Song Bing Kwila, Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada Ki. Go back to Vrinda Ki. Hare Krishna.